ADA, we start with one hour chart. Okay, if we refer to our analysis, we mentioned that when the price was within this move, especially here, we mentioned that if we get the break out of this low, we can consider this one as a, this one as a correction relative to this for one more drop. That's why we mentioned if we, the price can break this low, then any reversal will be more interested. Interested, but as we can see, the price is the is moving is really corrective, and even we didn't get the breakout of this. Now the thing is, this trend line we we should adjust it at least to above here or here. Maybe put it here. I think it's we put it here is better. Okay. The only thing is. How long we will be within this move? Because the way is moving is really corrective. And no, can we consider this one in relative to this for one correction? One, two, three, and, and this is the last wave. Okay, but the way is moving is really corrective and the best things is still I can see the best things if the price can break this low. Because we were expecting the price to break this low and after that we had a few lines here, 1.0, 8, 8, and the second one was 1.004. Okay, exact value if I put it here, which is, we can call it the first one is almost 1.1, the second one is around one. Okay, we, we told the price can drop after the breakout of this low, but no, from what we can see, the way is moving is really corrective. In this case, we move to higher time frame. Okay. As we can see, based on higher time frame, the price have broke the previous top, but it couldn't continue. And if we move, this is based on a weekly chart. And if we move to four uh, daily chart, this is what we can see. We have been within this up move, but three times we had a correction here. So based on lower time frame, it will be more clear. But, and we refer to when the price was here, when we refer to MACD, we did, we, I mean, we didn't have the divergence, but when I refer to another one, I see the divergence. That's why we expect the price can drop when the price was at this top. Okay, now we wanna see how deep this one can go. As we mentioned, based on the one hour chart, we told the price can drop to 1.08 or one before we get the reversal. Okay, but still we can see as we saw based on the one hour chart, the way was moving was really corrective. The price couldn't drop. Okay. Now we move to forward chart. Again, we want to put this one similar to any of this for continuation. Okay, and if you refer to the MACD, we never had the divergence when we compare these two, but the another one we had the divergence. We have two different results here if we differ to the indicators, but the second one give us better information because after having the divergence in relative to this, the price dropped. Okay, now we want to see how deep this one can go again. It's still, we are within this down move, and it's still, we can consider the only times we can see this move is finished when the price break this line, this low. Okay, where is this low if we put over line here? That means it's still, we can, exp I mean, the only times you can consider this move is finished when the price break 1.15 which is this low, almost there. Then from there, we can consider, okay, this move already is finished. At least we have the three wave. Then from there, we see whether there is a reversal or this move can turn to a bigger move for one more drop. Because at that times we need to see after the breakout of here, which is 1.15, whether we get the divergence based on lower time frame or not, which, which is ABC or WX, YX, all right? Now, Based on forward chart also, we cannot trade. And the only thing is we can see this down move. We wanna see how we can trade it if we move to one hour chart. All right, based on one hour chart, as I mentioned, if we want, the best thing is if the price can break this low, okay? The price haven't broke here. And if the, the best thing is if the price break 1.15. As I mentioned, based on forward chart, then from there, any reversal we can look for buy. But how about if the price reverse from here, start up move from here? The only thing is we wait for the breakout of the trend line. We get the correction for continuation. Having entry above this top, I don't suggest it because easily price can tag and reverse. Unless traders, they have experience, they know how to manage it because we don't want to be in the, I mean, the price tag and reverse. 
okay? Having entry above the top, I just leave it for the traders. The only thing is if the price reverses from here, we need to get the flag or small correction for continuation. Rather than that, the best is wait for the breakdown of this low, which is 1.15, okay? And how long we will be doing this? We are not sure because as we can see, it's really, the base dropping is really corrective, but almost near, okay? Anyway, we don't have any trade set up as long as we are within this down move. The only thing is maybe we put this one in relative to each other as a one, two, three internal correction in relative to this. We get this correction and this is the first and this move should break at least this low which is 1.17. Then from there, we see whether we need to wait the price and break 1.154 reversal or not, okay? But as you can see, the price is, I mean, it's too close, 1.17, 1.15 is too close to each other, but the only thing is the way, is, the way this one is moving is really corrective. By the way, we just follow the chart. We don't have any trade setup and we cannot jump into the trade before we get the confirmation for the reversal. And one more thing, how about if the price continue and break 1.15, then we get the one more up and this one turn to a bigger correction for one more drop. That's why I mentioned if the price break this low, then from there we need to see if we put the, this in relative, to if the price drop, we see whether we have a divergence, whether we call it this one ABC or not, maybe we do get the bigger flat internally flat for one more drop that's mean this one can tend to a more complex correction we're talking about the overall not only this okay anyway we just follow the chart as i mentioned the only way is to trade without the breakout of this low is breakout of the trend line with the correction rather than that we cannot trade and in this case i mean if you want to look for buy in this case uh we just follow the chart and one more thing I need to follow here, I add here, if anyone is looking for sell, even right now we cannot sell. The sell, again, the best is we get the breakout to 1.15. Then from there, we see how deep it can go if we want to look for sell. Because we don't want to get, the, if, for example, if you get any sell from here, and if you put the line here, this is where you're going to trade it. Do you, I mean, the, I mean, anyone wants to get the sell from here? Because easily the price can tank and reverse. That's why we need to wait for the breakout. Then if we see, we get the correction, we trade it. But from there, we need to see how the way is moving. Is it fast or corrective? If it's moving as a corrective, we are not going to take the sell. We will get similar any of this very short term. By the way, we don't have anything. So we just follow the chart. If I see any update or trade setup that confirm for the next move, I will share. Because right now, whatever we have is a corrective move. Thanks.